City of the Big Shoulders. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another unboxing. Um, this time it's City of the Big Shoulders. Basically, it's about Chicago. Um, you can notice I took the plastic wrap off. There's no use having that in the video, and it usually slows me down. Already having the, the cards and everything else, uh, the plastic is long enough as it is. So this is, was a Kickstarter, obviously. I went all in with the deluxe and the whole kit, so it's like a sleeve. And this is uh, the retail version uh, cover. So City of the Big Shoulders is about, um, I don't know how to say, obviously very crunchy. I uh, heard it was very heavy. Uh, it's good length, two and a half hours. And um, uh, they say it's a mix of like an 18XX in there. Has like 18XX vibes. So that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I own a lot of 18XXs. Still have to play them. Um, it's on my uh, list of games to play, obviously. So. So here are some of the resources. I don't know exactly what they all are. Uh, once I get to the rule book, we'll have a look at those. But uh, here's some beige meeples. Uh, brown, as you can see, I think it's going to be kind of like muted colors. Kind of reminds me of Arkwright. Well, these are exactly the same uh, tokens that are in Arkwright. Some more. Uh, I think those are goods that we're going to process. Some more black cubes. Some brown meeples. Yeah, staying in the vein of the uh, beige, white, and gray. Uh, this seems like, if I had to take a guess, would be the first player marker. I'm kind of getting a weird, like, so, okay. It's kind of a different kind of train. Okay, so, some pink cubes. Some, uh, these good, these look like dudes with a top hat. Probably this guy right here. That's him. That's it. Sure, it's that. Blue cubes. Uh, okay, so blue, yellow, green, and red. Probably uh, for four players. But four color, uh, four color pawns. Some more discs of different colors. I think these are the companies. Probably, and I'm pretty sure we're going to put stickers on these guys. Uh, a lot of baggies. So, I guess there's going to be a lot of punching to do. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. And then, very, very appreciative. All games, listen. Designers, please do that. So, let's start off with this. This seems like the money. Um, so, I'm not going to open these. I mean... You can see it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, this is cool. It can actually be useful in other games. but uh, And they, they look thick. They're not like paper money. So that's a good thing. Uh, this. I'll keep it on the side for now. Keep this on the side. So we got our ones. Uh, Daniel Hale Williams. And we have our fives which is Jane Adams. I'm not too good on history, so excuse me if I don't know who they are. Enrico Fermi, probably uh, big time entrepreneurs that made it big. Um, William LeBaron Jenny. And uh, I can see these uh, being very useful in Arkwright. And uh, Carl Sandberg. Wow, oh, everybody knows. Even I know Carl Sandberg. Okay. Quaker Oats Company. Now I know that. And the Oscar F. Meyer and Brothers. That's awesome. Yes. Look at this, guys. Easy. Easy plastic opening this time. Let's go through these. Oscar Meyer. Floor Shine Shoes. Don't know those. Arnold Schwinn. American Flyer. Quaker Oats Company. Oscar Mayer, Forest Lime Shoes, Arnold Schwinn, Schwinn, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Schwinn Bikes, I know that, American Flyer, okay, they seem to be pretty much the same thing, oh, but I think the denominations are going up 20%, 10%, and so forth, cool, so those are pretty much all the same there, and some more, 
Uh, Elgin National Watch Company. C.M. Henderson's Company. Let's open this up real quick. Okay, so C.M. Henderson, Anglo-American, Libby McNeil, and Libby. Libby and Libby. Brunswick Bell Colander, N.K. Fairbank & Co., The Cracker Jack Company, A.G. Spaulding & Brothers, Doggett Bassett & Hills, Swift & Company, Elgin National Watch, C.M. Henderson's Anglo-American Provision, Libby, Brunswick Balk. Okay, so they're all pretty much the same. And once again, uh, the percentages seem to be going up. Yeah, 30. Oh, and it seems like there's a seal. See over here, like one seal, 10%. And later on, you could see two seals for 20% and three seals for 30%. And it doesn't go any higher than that. So that's for that. Then, wow, there's more money. Um, this looks like the Burden of Destiny expansion. Huh. Okay, we'll look at that in a little bit. We got the Stock Bump Guide. Stock Bump Guide. Okay. Uh, advanced game rules. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be uh, fun. Uh, advanced game rules. Okay, so these are player aids, basically. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Emergency fundraising and stock round. Transfer to directorship. Hostile takeovers, dumping a company. So, a little bit in the vein of trains and dumping companies. We have the rule book. And uh, yes, it is thick. And yes, it has 40 pages. But uh, obviously some of them are just gonna be explaining the tokens, that's not bad, but I, it's still a good hefty 30 pages to read and to learn. We'll watch a little bit of videos on that. We have the main board. Hopefully it's not double-sided. Okay, so we got Oh, let me get this in here. Okay. That's cool. I think that's where you put the goods. And you got some actions. Hay Market Square. And Bank Pool. And those are where the shares of the company and the stock goes up. Okay. So, on to the little bitty tokens. So, I'm guessing these are... Uh, exactly the way we said the tokens. Let's look up the book a little bit on that one. Let's see what looks. What's what? Okay, so capital assets. Those are capital assets. Uh, these are... The brown ones look like they're building tiles. Uh, yeah, building tiles. Cool. Awesome. I love it already. Then we got... Uh, those are the man tiles. Uh, these are more uh, assets, capital assets. And, okay. We got some of these. Cool. Some of these. These, uh, these look like, oh, these are gold tiles. Actually gold colored almost. Gold, gold. Get it? Some more buildings. Oh, and I'm guessing there are those levels, like level two. Because the first set was three dots. And a little scroll through the roll the rule book. The roll book. The rule book. Hmm. Okay. And yeah, this is gonna be I don't mind it though. I mean it's fun. Part of the game for me is learning, reading the rules. A nice day off, take care of that. Let's quick take a quick look at the expansion. So we got a Oh yeah, a specific board. I'm guessing for each of the players in their colors. Personal treasury. Wow. Stock phase. I wonder if you could use these in the main game. I'll check that out later. Uh, burden of Destiny expansion. Oh, the Burden of Destiny. What a burden to have. Okay, a little pad. 
and some more money. And that's City of the Big Shoulders. Thanks.